at the weekend forecast for August 6th through August 8th. Pretty nice weekend on tap, better than we've had in some ways. There will be a chance both on Saturday and on Sunday for some showers. Um, I don't think it's going to be a total washout. Saturday will actually be pretty nice, very small chance for a shower on Saturday. Sunday could be some off and on kind of pop-up showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder. So let's take a look at the details and figure out what is going on and why. So as we look at the uh, satellite imagery here, we can see, first of all, that the pattern is not moving real quick. We've had, uh, thankfully, this persistent moisture flow that has been heading in our direction for the last month really has moved slightly offshore. Um, and we saw that this week in that Wednesday into yesterday morning. Um, we have lots of clouds here in southern Vermont, but no rain. Um, coastal New England had some rain um, as a low pressure system kind of headed off to our north. And we have an, a kind of a repeat of that um, of another system that's developing here across the southeast that's going to head in our direction. And we're going to look at how it might throw some moisture in our direction. Hard to tell. I think we'll definitely see some clouds on Sunday from it. How much rain we get from it. The models have trended towards giving us more rain. I think there's some justification in that. We're going to look at some radar to see why, but also um, why it's definitely not uh, not locked in as a guarantee at this point. It wouldn't be heavy rain for the most part. It might be a brief heavy downpour, uh, very brief on Sunday, but nothing like it might drop a tenth or two tenths of an inch, but only rain for five minutes. So it might rain real heavy for five minutes, but then stop. And I think we will still see some sun mixed in as well. Uh, a little tough to t uh, a little tough to tell exactly on some of the details. So here on radar, I think we can actually get a pretty good look at why that's going to happen. So you can see the low pressure system is starting to develop here across the southeast United States. And what you can see here is you see um, some radar, and a lot of this is not really making the ground, but there is some of this making the ground. And this this kind of uh, basically. A uh, trough that's to the northwest of the lo surface low pressure system is what is eventually going to be uh, play a role in our weather as the storm kind of heads up the coast, um, doesn't develop into a real strong storm. Um, this is not coastal season; we're in the middle of summer. But this trough here is going to somewhat persist and head, and will end up draped across central New England, central uh, kind of southern central New uh, central yeah. Uh, whatever you want to call us here, right? We're, we're you know, uh, northern New England, but not far in northern New England here in southern Vermont. So um, I think it will play a role in our weather. Um, and basically, you can see what's going to happen. Low pressure system is going to be well to our south. Um, and like I said, this is not a real strong low pressure system. Normally, I would say this is far enough away that at worst, we'd get some clouds, much like Thursday. But I do think there's a bit of this trough here. That's the dashed line that I'm indicating. Um, a little bit of mid-level energy involved with it that could give us some showers, um, I, and maybe even a rumble of thunder, but basically not really thunderstorms, but just a quick rumble of thunder with some instability at the mid-levels. Um, so I think that will happen on Sunday, midday into the afternoon. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, uh, basically, for what's going on. So in terms of the forecast, today is basically sunny. Today's a really nice day. We're up in the low 80s. We're warmer than we've been. It's a little more humid out there than it's been. Um, tomorrow, same kind of thing. We drop back in the lower 60s for uh, overnight tonight, and then we're up into the mid-80s tomorrow. S small chance of a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. I get the percentage uh, uh, of precipitation down there at 30%. Not a real strong chance, but I just want you to be aware, if you're out particularly in the after late afternoon, evening tomorrow, there is a chance you could see a shower or a thunderstorm. So just be ready for that if it happens. Um, in terms of Sunday, though, we do see that things kind of get a little more active. I, we start off today with quite a bit of sun, maybe some clouds mixed in, I think. And then I think we have a chance of showers. Now, this is not wall-to-wall -wall rain from noon till uh, 8 p.m. This is a chance of an off-and-on shower. I think we could see some sun in between. We'll still be plenty warm, not quite as warm because of the extra cloud cover. But in the 80s, probably mostly cloudy. Not the greatest afternoon. Um, probably tough if you're trying to do something outside. You know, hike would probably be a possibility, especially if you're prepped for five minutes of rain. Um, uh, or, or if you're close to where you can see shelter real quick. Beach would be a little tough on Sunday. A possibility, but you may have to jump underneath some cover. You know, if you're at Memorial Park here in Londonderry, you got to jump underneath the, uh, uh, underneath the uh, overhang there, basically, uh, for a couple of minutes as the precipitation comes by. So that's reflected in the outdoor activities highlights, right? Today's a great beach day, probably best beach day we've had in, um, especially in terms of being warm uh, in the better part of a month, really. Uh, Saturday, small chance of an evening shower. Overall, a nice day on Saturday. I think another good day to get to the beach. Um, just be ready in the evening for a shower. And then Sunday, not a total washout by any stretch of the imagination, but you got to be ready for a shower, um, a brief shower anytime after 10 a.m., um, and definitely more clouds than sun. So that's what it's looking like. Um, I, we're still in a drier pattern than we've been. Not completely dry, but much better than it's been. If you've got questions, let me know. I will be back next Thursday 
because I'll be away starting next Friday. I'll be away next, th or I'll be back next Thursday with a look at your weekend forecast, probably Thursday evening. Okay. Uh, otherwise, thanks for uh, following me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I'd encourage you to do it. Make sure that you get to see my videos and follow me on social media as well as I post them there. All right. And a quick shout out to my patrons who help support what I do here at the West River, West River Weather Guy.